Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today we're going to talk about bike rentals, especially in Amsterdam. You can actually think about what to expect when renting a bike in Amsterdam and how to use the bike when you're biking in Amsterdam. The most frequently asked questions are what do I need to rent a bike and how much does it cost? Well, the first four things that you'll need a passport, a ID, or driver's license, a credit card, don't confuse it with a debit card or a prepaid card, it needs to be a credit card, and of course, cash. And the minimum would be 50 euros. Bike rental prices, 5 euros to almost 25 euros per bike with or without insurance. And always ask what the insurance includes and what kind of service you'll get. Now, once you all got that sorted out with the rental company, let's start with the bikes. Now this is a very good example of a rental bike that is commonly used in Amsterdam. So let's start with the most simple thing, and that is the ring lock. A ring lock is very easy to use and not that hard to understand. Now this is how it looks like close up. Now on the right side you have the key and on the left side you have a lever. Now normally this lock is opened. So when it's closed, the only thing you have to do is turn the key and then flips open, unlocking the lock. If you want to lock the bike, you turn the key and push that left lever down. Halfway, you can let go of the key, pushing that lever all the way down until you hear it click. When you hear it click, you can actually remove the key from the lock. Now when you want the bike back again, just put it back, turn, and will open up. But it will secure the key in the lock. So don't force it out. You only remove the key when you lock the bike. Once you master that, you also have a secondary lock, that is the chain lock. Now this chain lock goes around the frame through the wheel connected together. So you always take both. The reason why is if you just take the frame, the wheel will be exposed and that will be gone when you come back to pick up your bike. And if possible, take a pole or post or something that's sturdy on the ground so your bike stays secure on the ground. Saddle adjustment, very important to do. So before going on the road, always ask if this is adjustable or if they can adjust it for you. Now back carry can be very handy, especially if you have bags or a backpack. Don't forget to just put the strap of the bag around the neck of the saddle so the bag stays secure when you're stopping somewhere and somebody tries to steal it, he or she pulls the bag with the bike. The maximum weight of this bag carrier can only take 15 to 20 kilograms. Rental bikes also have gears. Not always. Ask beforehand. It makes it more easier for you. But gears can be very easy, especially in a busy city center or those annoying bridges that you need to go over. Handbrakes are the same thing. Very common in rental bikes, but you do have some without handbrakes. We call them paddle brakes. Ask the rental company what kind of bikes they have and if they include handbrakes and gears. Now sometimes you have a dynamo on the front wheel that actually lights up the front light when the wheel starts turning. The back light is mostly run by batteries. So you do need to switch that on and off again. Now once we cover the bike fully and understand how the bike works and what does it have, we're going to go on the road. Now these bike paths are almost everywhere in Amsterdam. They look a little pinkish purple. When you're on this bike path, it's important to split this bike path in two pieces. The right side being the slow lane and the left side being the fast lane. So if you want to pass someone, go from left to right. But don't forget, before passing someone, you do need to look over your shoulder that no one is passing you. Now if you want to make a left or right turn, again, look over your shoulder, but in this case, also indicate with your arms if you want to go left or right. 
Now, if you're from the UK or any other country when you're driving on the left side of the road, this is a very good tip to be aware. When you see this bike image on the ground at that position, you're on the right side of the road. If you're seeing it upside down, you're on the wrong side and you need to change lanes quickly. Now, when you're finally in the city center of Amsterdam, it's very important that you park your bike correctly. Nowadays, we have parking spots for bikes. As you see in this image, this is a common parking spot for bikes. And again, it's important that you park them in that spot and if you don't park your bike correctly enforcement also known as the bike police will come and remove your bike and before i end this video it's very important not to use any electronics to distract you from the road if you do you can get a fine starting at 85 euros so please do not use any electronics when you're biking all right guys thanks so much for watching this video hopefully these tips and guidelines help you you improve your bike experience and hopefully you'll have the chance to roam around the city on a bike in Amsterdam. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully till next time.